Now, in this tutorial, we will understand how to iterate multiple arrays. Most of the beginners confuse while iterating multiple arrays. Let's talk about how easy it is to iterate multiple arrays using different methods. Now, let's take an example. I'm going to first create an array of people and then I'm going to create an array of food. If you're a beginner, then you might choose for loop to iterate this array like this. You will simply create a for loop, then you initialize the variable by zero, then you create expression, and then you will increase the size of the variable. And then you will get or echo the array values. So this is the way the beginner iterate multiple arrays. Now let's take a step ahead and iterate this array using PHP for each predefined function. You will just simply call a for each, then specify your array as, and then you will just call key and value pair. And in this array, you will create a variable and just call this second array and pass the index key to it. And then you can access both this array using the variable person and food. That's easy, right? But there is another easy way to iterate multiple arrays. Using array map predefined PHP function, you can simply iterate both this array. So let me show you how you can do that. When you call array map function, you need to specify arguments. The first argument is the callback function. Callback function run for each element in the array. The callback function execute until the end of the array. In this case, the callback function will execute three times because we have three values in this array. Just after that, we have the second argument to this array map, which is array. Here you need to specify the array which you want to iterate. Now let's see how easy it is to iterate this multiple array. So to iterate this array, you need to specify first the callback function. And in this function, I'm going to pass parameter. So I'm going to first pass person parameter and the food parameter. This is going to be the parameter of this function. And we're going to pass value to this function using second argument. In this function, I'm going to just echo person and food. And then to the second argument, I'm going to just specify person array. And then I'm going to call the food array here. So if you execute this function, you're going to get the value of your multiple arrays. If you don't want to echo it, you can return it as well. You just need to specify here return. So this statement will return both these array values and you can get this value by creating a new variable. So if I just create here result, then it will store both this array value in this variable. Now you're not limited to create this inline function. Instead, you can create your own function as well and, and pass that function as callback. For example, if I just create here a function and then I'm going to return both this array. And if I call this values function, instead of calling this callback function here and in the single code, I'm going to just call this function, then I will have the same result in this variable. So this is how you can iterate multiple arrays in PHP. Now, if you like short videos like this, make sure you subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.